just want to show you guys when I build something. I make sure to keep all my letters together. Those are all T's. Those are all Z's. Those are all X's, right? Keep everything together and spread them out in your room so you can know what you're going to build so you can just grab pieces easier. Okay, so I'm with you on these directions. As you can see on G, if you look closely, the dowel should be in the second screw, the one furthest away, and then a screw is going into underneath on the second leg. This is the way that your um, big bracket in the middle has to be set up, and that's gonna connect to this H bar, right? That's H. Screw's gonna come through, dowel's gonna go there. Okay, so just like in the picture, screw's gonna go there, dowel's gonna go there. Okay? And then underneath, if you look at this, the dowel will go in there and screw is gonna go into that uh, bottom circular thing, right? That's gonna match up perfectly as we set this down. Okay? Now, we run into problems already. Picture wise, it's looking like we should be doing it this way, where the screw hole closest to me is gonna get a screw, and the screw hole furthest away from me is gonna get a dowel. But in our situation, that's not gonna work out because then the screw holes on the bottom are not gonna work. You can't have a dowel on that on this small screw. That needs a screw, not a dowel. That needs a dowel. So, this obviously then has to go this way. So then you just follow directions for the screws. This is BB, that says DD. If you look into the screw going in here, BB is going up to the bottom of H. There's a JJ, which is a dowel. And on the other side we have a DD, which is a smaller screw and a dowel. D on the bottom there. This is your D. And this is your H. So now we're going to put dowels into here. Anywhere you see these little guys, screws are going into. So dowels are going into here. Screws are going into there. Same thing with this. You know there's going to be a dowel going in there. And then your screw has to go in there. All right. So we're gonna figure out what needs to go in here. It looks like uh, E is right there, and E is right here. So we're gonna put that in now. So as you can see, we fastened an E. That's a DD screw that needed to go in there. And now we're gonna put the uh, piece that's gonna go on top of here. It's gonna be your F rail. And they have them over here. Okay, so it just took a couple minutes. But now step one, all that is complete. If you're on page 17, let's turn the page. Okay, some of the tools, uh, little parts you need right there. Okay. And we are gonna do this, taking part A, which is part A. We're gonna lay it down and we're gonna attach everything on part one to part two here on page 19. Look, it looks complicated, but it looks like a bunch of dowel rods there. You see that? Some screws with washers that are gonna go in those holes there. Okay, and that looks like about it. So we're gonna put the dowels in, I'll show you what that looks like, and I'll show you how to install those screws. Okay, so we have part A from the diagram. You want your holes to be on this end, this end, and that end, which I was talking about, and here. Okay, that follows that trend. Corner, corner, and like a little bit of space in between. It looks like a little bit of space in between. Going off these pictures is sometimes hard. So now we're gonna attach that one weird top bracket to this end over here. And uh, I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so now we got this piece in. We didn't put these screws in yet, 
but I'm going to show you guys how to install those. They're just sitting on the dowels. Mm -hmm. So that's the piece we just built. And it can only go in one way. Did you see how that this leg is turned? So it can only go in one way. So we'll put a screw on this side, we'll put that in, and that screw goes on there. If we're following the directions back there, that's kind of like that back piece there. See the legs sticking down there, legs sticking down there in the back there, one, two, three, four. So we're gonna put these screws in now. Okay, so in the description, we have KK, which are these, okay? You're gonna put in your BB screws, which are down there, your bigger ones. Okay, and that's all you're gonna need to put over to put together this side, right? So in order to put these little screws in, you can either do it this way, or you can do it that way. It is just a washer, right? Just like any other type of washer. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna install it this way, and then all you're gonna do is drop your screw in, just like that, and you're just gonna tighten that down with your uh, Allen, and they give you an Allen right there so the ones that are external no internals i call that an internal right because it's inside something this external screw you can just put in that little hex and twist right it's going to tighten that right up but for that guy you're going to need an allen sorry that lighting really sucks but maybe on like that one i'll show you again what that looks like okay So when it installed in, which is just one screw right on top of the dowels. Now, to install P, those little tiny holes need to be exactly where I have them right there. See, there's one little hole in the middle of the board there, one other little hole in the middle of the board there, and one on the end of the board next to P. The big screw holes need to be on, the, on this inside. The smaller holes need to be on this outside. So that's just gonna fit right into there. And I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so that side wall is A. We attached that first thing we built so far. We attached N and we attached P. So now I put all the dowels in because we're gonna attach the other side rail now or the other side drawer or side of the drawer dresser. So let's do that now. Okay, so now we set this top piece here, letter B right on top of those dowels. Now what I will say is they went down real nice and snug. Don't force downward pressure on this. So don't force downward pressure on this because these legs aren't the strongest. If you put too much weight on it, um, you can crack a leg, you know? So I went gently and went around. I started in this corner, pushed that one down, went to this corner over here, push this one down, right? And just doing a crisscross pattern to make sure it went down nice and easy. When I put these screws in, that's what's actually going to tighten it up. So now you're going to do the same thing you did on this side. Except now, you're going to flip the washer up, and you're going to put your screw right up through there. So let's do all those. Okay, so when you're putting in, when you're installing this B piece, just like basic construction knowledge for you guys, when you have multiple bolts going around like this, you don't wanna just start on this end here and work your way across and then go to the other side because your other side isn't gonna go in. Um, and I know this from like, you know, working on clutches on cars and everything else, because if you don't know about a clutch on a car, never mind, it's just a lot of screws, so you have to work in a, in a cross pattern. So when we're gonna install these, we install these in a cross pattern. I put this one in, then I put that back one in, okay? 
Then I went ahead and I did this one over here and it's already tight, which is good news because that means that all of these other ones are gonna sit flush. You see how that's already flush? Like I don't have to press down to get it to fit. You know, that one's up like a tiny bit, but when I put that screw in it, like you can't even tell, but I can tell because I'm a, you know, perfectionist. But uh, if I push this down and I put this screw in here, which is the next one I'm gonna do, it should go in real tight. So work in that cross pattern when you install this because it's gonna save you a lot of headache and you won't crack any legs. Okay, for our next step, we have to install L, which is gonna be the bottom. Cause you see those two little squares? Those are gonna be two little top drawers, okay? And C is the top that goes on there, but we're gonna install the bottom first, which means we're probably gonna be installing the bottom and then also the legs. That's usually what happens when you install um, the bottoms on these dressers. So whether it has feet or what, I'm not sure what it has, but I'm gonna follow directions and get it done. So the first thing we gotta do is we gotta turn this thing upside down so that those two little squares, that little square there and that little square is on the bottom. So let's turn this around. Okay, so I set my dowel in there. And you can see the bar in there. I set the dowel in there. Those dowels are gonna set into this hole here and that hole in the bottom. Okay, so now we just gotta make sure that hole matches up and that hole matches up down there with that hole there and that hole there. And there's two screw holes here. Okay, those two screw holes obviously have to match up with that screw hole, screw hole there and that screw hole there. So let's match everything up and let's pop it in. Okay, now we have the DD screws, four of them. Okay, and we have to melt them underneath. Okay. Right into these little holes here. Okay. So that one's gonna come up through there on this little leg sticking out. There's one over here. And then there's obviously two on the other side. So let's install those screws. There's no washers, you just gotta put them right in. Okay, so now we have M1 to flip it up like that. You have M2, and these screws on M2 need to be facing inward towards me. And you're gonna use MM screws, which are right there. They're gonna go into the middle there, and we'll install that. Here's a pro tip. Flip it up, uh, upside down. <laughs> That's the pro tip. Uh, it's just easier to put these screws in downward than it is trying to like force it in sideways here on the carpet So flip it and uh, you'll be able to put them in easy Okay, so it called to actually install these little brackets here too, which is going to mount to the bottom as you can see there and That bracket over there good. So we're going to mount these into the screw holes These are the same mm screws that you use to put this whole metal thing together and these are SS screws. So you wanna make sure you find your SS screw in the bag, which we haven't opened yet. And we're gonna use those to install the remainder of the screws that go around. Again, we're gonna work on that cross pattern. I'm gonna save these little screws back here for the end, um, if I can. It's because this bracket's gonna be more flexible than these bars, obviously, and you want these bars to be securing the majority of this base down so in the in the event that this doesn't match up or only one screw matches up you still have the majority of the screws then holding this base down okay so now we have to install C which goes on top right we flipped it upside down because we installed our legs and they came out good now we've installed the top which we had our two dowels slid right in and then you used your bigger screws. I think, the, what are they, BB? Let me see. Yeah, your BB screws, just four of them. Two in the front here on that lip that I'm showing you, right here, and then two on that back lip there. You can almost see the screw hole there. Yep, and then they just uh, bolted right on. Top is finished. So now we have to figure out what comes next. Okay, so it calls for putting together, sorry. So now it calls for putting together this backer. There's K1, which is the top piece, and K2. It's not just one solid piece, it's like foldable like you see on some of these. The screws are HH10. Okay, so you're gonna look in your bag here for 
HH. And that's what that looks like. So HH, and they're just saying 10 of them. All right, this bottom hole always goes on the bottom. And then the top hole, you're gonna see like, see this bottom hole? Bottom hole's on the bottom, and there's gonna be two holes on the top of your K1. You just use a regular screwdriver for that, and we're gonna install it now. Install K2 first, because when you install that, it's gonna be a lot easier on you, because then you can set K1 on top of K2 just to screw it in, so it'll go much faster. And just like that, the back is now installed. So now we're gonna position this dresser somewhere probably back towards that wall so that I have room now to build these uh, drawers. Okay, before I go any further, this is really easy here. That is why that's on the back. The screw holes need to face you, okay? So if you if you look here, see those, see it says AA, they need to face me. So AA is gonna go into uh, there. AA is going into there. Um, AA is also gonna go under there. You're like, what's AA? It's gonna be like this little cam lock, okay? So that you can install um, these little screws, okay? Now, I already put that together, but it's not together correctly, because uh, I have to put in these cam bolts first onto this thing called Q2, okay? Which is that one. And then I have this one in my hand here, so um, to make it easy, I'll show you, like, the screw that I need to install, the cam bolt needs to go into there. It's really easy, it just screws right in, just like any other screw, and it's threaded, so you can't mess it up. Then, it already has those little dowels, so then all you have to do is just connect this together, and um, just like that. And then when you put that little cam lock in there, you're just gonna rotate it, uh, like a quarter turn, half turn, um, to lock over that little, like, lip there. Okay, so you screw those threads in, and then you use your cam lock, and you just twist this little thing. See that? It's real easy. You just twist it with your screwdriver. See that little T right there? That's where you fit your Phillips screwdriver into. And you just twist it to tighten it up. Okay, so just to let you know, to install this front piece here, right, J, you have to lift up these in order to get it to fit the holes because you do want this little bottom hole here as you see here in the picture bottom hole here screw goes in here that's a dd screw screw goes in there it's a dd screw you want that bolt hole down there okay so make sure that bolt holes there and uh and then we're good to go that's your changing table so i assume that when you flip this over then that's going to be it so good okay so the little lip I was talking about, my kid, it's going crazy. The little lip, we need that lip because it has little holes. And these holes are going to match up with these holes on the back of your dresser to secure the changing table down, which we actually don't have on our first changing table. And so it slides around, so that's a good design. So we're going to put these little, what are these, FF screws in. And uh, just three of them on the back, and I'll show you what that looks like. And just like that, we secured this changing topper, and I like that it's sturdy. It doesn't slide around. Um, now, the whole thing is still sturdy because we don't have drawers in it yet, and we didn't secure it to the wall where we want to secure this, obviously, because we don't want this falling on the kid. Whoa, People are like, how's it going to fall on the kid? If a kid pulls out a drawer and they climb the drawer, this thing can fall on top of them, obviously, because it can it, it will teeter down. So you don't want that. So, All right. Okay, so we had to put this drawer together. This is going to be one of the small top drawers. It's a U, which is one of these small guys, right? These are gonna be, your T's are your others. So look for the finished pieces now, because they're almost finished here. So T's are gonna be your bottom dressers, one and two. And then U's are gonna be your small top dressers, right? It's gonna go right up there. To put that together, you get to slide V1 on both sides, but make sure the ridge is kept in the back, you know? Because then you have to slide your Z piece, right? That's going to be the bottom of the drawer. That's where you're going to put your clothes right there, okay? And then this is going to be the front, obviously, of the drawer. It's going, to, it's, going to, it's going to look like that. But we have to secure the back piece, which is going to be R. And we're going to put R in now. So what R needs that's different than anything else that's here that might be difficult is it has these EE brackets. And those are kind of like those cam locks, but they're for screws. So I'm gonna show you guys how to install those now. Yeah. And okay, so when you install these little 
Like they they're like the little cam lock things that we used earlier. Those uh but the ones we used earlier were metal. Now these are not kind they're kind of like them but they're not. They fill the gap and looks like it and it looks like you have to twist them to lock the screw in place, but you don't. They act as like little plastic washers for the screws. And now this dresser uh top here numero uno is done. I'm going to build the second one and then I think the other ones are going the exact same way. So once we get to the point where I have to mount them on the actual sliders, I'll come back to you. I'll show you guys before I finish it, finish up this drawer. When you put in these little EE -E, um, washers or whatever, it has a little hole, right? That needs to face, obviously, where you're going to be putting the screw in at, right? So that the screw can go in through this hole and through that hole, all right, to tighten it down. Okay. Okay, so now that we have the drawers built there and the drawers built over here, real easy build, right? We have to install the hardware on the front. Once we install the hardware on the front, then we can install them into the dresser. To install the hardware, you're going to need these PP2 screws. They look like that, right? Handle screws. And they're gonna go right into the back of the handles, right? So right through these holes, you're gonna come through the back here. Let me show you. Come through the back, and then as you come through the back, you're gonna right through the handle, and that should be able to take care of it, okay? So those two screws go through there, and it's gonna come right up to the handle, and you're just gonna tie them. You're just gonna screw them tight into the handle, all right? Back of the handle should have threads. I just want to point out too that it was convenient that when I when I opened up the hardware box for just the handles, they had the screws in them already, so I didn't have to go searching for them. So I could just unscrew them basically, and then reattach them there. So I just hand tightened that one. Uh, I'm gonna hand tighten them all, and then I'm just gonna go through and tighten them with a screwdriver, and then we're gonna install it onto the actual brackets. Okay, so I thought we we're gonna try and install these when they're attached, and you just can't. So the way that you take these sliders off, right, because they're connected, is over here, there's going to be a little mechanism. If it's up like this, you have to press it down, right? You press this little lever down, and then you can pull this piece out. On this side, you're going to have to pull up, okay? See, because it's already down, so you have to pull up on it, and then you can pull these out. So I might as well see if I can do it one-handed here. All right, so it's already up. We'll press it down. We'll try and pull that guy out, which it doesn't want to do right now. There. Mm-hmm. And then same thing with this guy. You pull up, and I'm gonna use two hands with that because I don't want to break it, but that's what you do. Okay, so the way you pulled those brackets out is how you're going to install them directly on to your cabinet, right? So the way you pull them out, you have to keep them in that position. So that little lever that we pushed up or pulled down, you see that there in the center, and that looks like a lightning bolt? That's always going to be towards the back of the cabinet, never towards the front, because it has to latch back in the same way you pulled it out, okay? Now, that being said, if you have this model, it'll also tell you that AA are the screws that you need. But the screws that you need are NN. Those are the only ones that are left. So it got it right there, but it kind of messed it up there. So now we're going to install these brackets on all the cabinets. And hopefully, we can pop this thing back in. I'll show you how to do that. So first, take off all those slides like I showed you. Um, and then install them onto your cabinets the way you pull them out and then you'll be ready to rock and roll the same way I am and then when I install my cabinet if I get into a snag or something I think is interesting for you I'll let you know so one thing I, I wanted to point out before I kind of finish up here is now that we get these brackets on right to pop them in you can't have these um, bars all the way out you have to actually push them into the front of the track here like so before you can install them and then when you slide them in make sure you slide them in nice there's no debris um, 
and they should just click right in. So let's go ahead and do that and I'll show you what it looks like. And then just like that, pull out all the way. You can slide them in, they actually little push and they click in. So the same thing with this guy, pull it out, it's as far as it'll go, push it back in, little push, and good. And it just like locks in. So there you go. So I'm gonna finish up those other two drawers and then we're done. And just like that, the drawers are in, changing top is on, they slide nice. Okay, so if you just follow kind of like my steps there, I guess I have to say, disclaimer, I'm not a product specialist builder, so don't do what I do. But if you guys got some tips, you know, you guys enjoyed the video, you watched the whole video, give me a like, subscribe, you know, it's for free. So hook me up, man. And uh, I'm going to be building a lot more stuff. Obviously, I like doing these little tutorials on how to do things because the instructions sometimes are really, really vague and hard to, you know, follow. So you got the Simmons dresser with the changing top with that style number and uh, in gray like I do. Then you should run into the same snags I did and um, you guys should be able to just bang it out because uh, I hooked you up. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.